Hi guys, it is Bill with Septic Flow. I am here at a brand new construction that I'm actually working on. Um, here in the back is the septic field. We've already had the bulldozing contractor actually cover up the, the septic system. But I'm gonna show you why you wanna use Septic Flow to pre-perk the system. Septic Flow is a product that actually helps get rid of sodium and phosphate buildup. And we're actually gonna just dump it right here in this two inch it goes straight out there. We're going to run some water behind it for new construction. The reason you want to do that is because we are actually pre-perking the system, getting it ready to take those phosphates and sodium buildup that happens through all different kinds of things. You know, whether you're using, I've had people ask me, can you use organic detergent? Will that prevent sodium buildup? Absolutely not. Uh, soap by nature of the saponification process that it goes through, it's just part of it. It makes sodium and phosphates that go into your system. And that you know, causes it to become non-perkable. And that means that all of that substrate and rock and sand and everything that we, you know, beautifully built out in this system eventually is going to get clogged up. And it, and it always happens if you don't address this. So even in pre-construction, we're gonna use septic flow. Um, so we're gonna put in two to four gallons for your average thousand to 1500 gallon tank. This is a 1500 gallon tank. It's a four bedroom house. We always over-engineer those things. But after doing this for over 10 years, I can tell you, you know, just from experience of working with old systems and new systems, we try to, you know, we want these people to be happy. To, I don't want to get a call, phone call 10 years from now that we didn't help them and anticipate what's going to happen with their system as it ages. So if you have a system that is not, uh, is older and it's not, you know, you open up the septic tank and it's, it's not moving, it's full, you've had it pumped and it still is draining very slowly, that's actually good news in a sense because it, that means you can use a product like septic flow to actually address that sodium buildup that's out in, in the system. There's only a few th reasons why your system is not moving. And you know, if it, it could be you know, biomat buildup and things like not to be crass, but condoms and uh, any kind of material your children may put down the toilet, whatever, those things can move from the tank all the way out to the septic field and that can that can be a problem then we may have to you know use jetting or put a tv camera down there and that can be expensive but it's nowhere near the eight to fifteen thousand dollars the average system is to dig it up and engineer a new system in there so if your tank the good news is if your tank is, is moving some going to add two to four gallons of septic flow two gallons wait two weeks uh if it's the system's dry you're going to run some water behind it you can add it through the toilet uh, through the kitchen sink, wherever you want, or out at the D-box or the septic tank system. Either way, it's all going to the same place, especially if you run water behind it. And then you're going to need a little patience. You're going to need to wait about two weeks for that chemical reaction to take place. You should start to see it move. If you don't know the size of your tank, your tank could be 3,000, 4,000 gallons. You may need four gallons of product to start. Then I'm going to tell you to wait two weeks, and then you're going to move into adding another two to four gallons um, at the end of the two weeks so that it can really get going. If, as long as the system is moving, that's great news, but I'm not gonna lie to you. If this system is locked up, it's not gonna work for this, you know, septic flow is not gonna work for you. Why? Because the chemical, react, the chemical can't get in there in the substrate to make the chemical reaction that it needs to. It's locked up up here, it can't get there. I'm gonna show you some other techniques also how to if your system's completely locked, it's not that it's not the end of hope. Uh, we can take a big long screwdriver and go out in the septic field. I'm going to show you how to uh, the magical or mystical way of, of ditch witching or finding water or, or pipes under the ground. Um, that's kind of cool. It's something my father taught me many years ago, and it, it works every time for me. Uh, so you can literally walk around with these dowsing rods and find, uh, make them yourself real easy out of coat hangers and find those pipes so that you can start to put in, um, take septic flow and put it down into the system. You will pound a big long uh, screwdriver down into the system and then pour septic flow behind it about every couple feet all around the um, septic system to try to get it to be per perkable. It may need to go down even further, uh, several feet, which is a much more difficult task and you don't want to hit your pipes when you're doing that. So I can't address how, you know, the typical systems, 18 to 24 inches underneath, uh, some are higher or lower. You know, I don't want you to hit your pipes, but at least I'm going to show you how to find the pipes and then you can do it around the outside of where it is. And it's, it's pretty accurate. All right, guys, take care and happy septic.